so touch a little bit on what happened in that town hall, but there are a lot of other things that went on in that town hall. When I watched it, it was less than 100 views on it. So I don't know if it just didn't get pushed out to a lot of people. He had already been out for, I don't know, eight or 10 hours when I watched it. So I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this that haven't even listened to that town hall. I'd recommend go listening to it. Like it, sure. it was pretty good information. We're going to attempt to recap it in, you know, five to seven minutes right here. So I don't know. Do you want to start with this? Anything you want to bring up from that town hall? I do have a list of a bunch of things that happened. That we're talking uh, about. No, you go ahead and start. Hi, go ahead. All right. Yeah. What was expected in this town hall was Kieran and Aaron. And then it ended up just being like Aaron couldn't make it. So then it was Kieran and Grant. So we had Grant on there talking about some things, which is nice because I, I feel like we don't hear from Grant a whole lot outside of those uh, showcases that he does. But he mentioned a few things about the overworld how they they revamped the whole like lighting and color of it so that it's less strenuous on the eyes and he, he was literally saying like make it easier on the eyes that you can sit in front of the computer longer and play more i don't know if maybe when i was younger when i was a kid but i haven't had like six eight ten hour days of just playing games in front of a computer like i can't imagine doing that but i know there are some people who are going to do that uh I maybe you streaming pvp <laughs> yeah but I mean, that's that's always a good change that one of those things that you would never know if it wasn't brought up. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of the parts in Abyssal Basin specifically need that lighting change. And it's already beautiful. I can't wait to see it when it's finished. Yeah. So he also said he was actually talking specifically about Abyssal Basin, but I guess all of them, they're working on like the overworld like pathing. So you don't go into something like Abyssal Basin like I know I did, and just be like, I have no clue where I'm going, what I'm doing. This map is so big. So he said there's going to be more of a direction laid out for you. I don't know exactly what that means or what that looks like, but it seems like you're going to be able to hop into these regions and kind of like have an idea of where you want to go. So you're not just spending five minutes walking off in one direction to find a wall that you can't get past. And then you feel like you just wasted time. Yeah, I think um, I wouldn't be able to find it, but there's a picture of Crimson and waste with that updated pathing and you wouldn't think something like that would make that huge of a difference but it really does not only does it make it look better when you're playing the game it's a, a lot easier to maneuver around because i mean let's face it crimson waste a lot of it looks the same um abyssal basin a lot of it looks the same because there's so much going on everywhere that defined path is going to help a lot along with the lighting changes. I, I, I can't stop thinking about Abyssal Basin. I love that place. Yeah. I know, yeah, that's, that's my favorite one that's out so far. So he said that we have the three regions that are out right now. He said Tiaga Boreal is the one that's next to being finished. And he says that's almost ready to go. And which I'm pretty excited about that too. Maybe not as much as Abyssal Basin, but it's just gonna be cool to get a new, uh, another new region. And then after Tiaga Boreal, we're looking at Halcyon Sea. And then they did mention, or Kieran mentioned, that they'll likely start out open beta with four or five regions. So now we, at least we know the regions that we're probably not gonna get when open beta comes. So it's gonna be the three that we have now, if it's four, it's going to be Tiaga Boreal. If we get the five, it's going to be Halcyon Sea. This is something that's always been a thing. But he just kind of reminded us that when open beta starts on day one, we're still not going to be able to go into all these regions. Somebody's going to have to find a way to unlock these regions. And we also don't know how long that's going to take. But let's say it takes two weeks when everybody's only playing Crimson Waste before somebody finds the the easter egg or whatever that unlocks the next region like that's going to make it seem like there's something new going on for months giving them more time to prepare those final two or three regions so that's going to be pretty cool too it's not like open beta is going to come and you're going to feel like the game's incomplete you're going to be trying to unlock these regions and then hopefully by the time you get to that fifth and sixth region to unlock they're ready to go yeah i i actually think it's it would be cooler if we only started off with three regions. I think releasing a new region every like three or four months until we have all of them would be super cool hype events that the community would rally and get hyped behind. Yeah. The tough part about that is that the alluvials that you're going to be able to catch in each region, if you start with, say, only, you know, three regions, 
then there's going to be a, a, a higher supply of the alluvials that can come out of those regions. I'm sure they no, can... No, all of the alluvials are going to be able to be captured. But not at the same... No, different regions are going to have... Well, they'll all be capturable, but, like, if you're in the Halcyon Sea, you're going to see more water alluvials than you're going to see fire alluvials. Sure, but I think they're going to balance that at open beta. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're balancing how the all of the alluvials come in that wouldn't normally be found in the three regions on release or four so I, I balancing it until that. all seven are out and then kind of let it do that's, its thing that's what i thought but i could be wrong on that uh nick yeah i'm not i know, I know they did that for the they did that the for comments. the private beta like i wasn't sure about the um the open beta but i mean we'll see it, i mean that would make sense for it to be balanced in some way but either way i, I do like it that they're just not all going to be there at once even if they however it is that you unlock these next regions maybe they like figure it out so it does take like two or three months and then the next one comes and then two or three months that i would like that too because it kind of gives you time to just explore all one and then when you need another boost of excitement the next one comes Yep. It would be pretty cool. So they also talked about updating the website, and there are some leaks out there now, and the, the website looks like it's, it's going to be awesome. They're kind of separating out the games a little bit, so there's going to be like a different landing page for the overworld, for the auto battler, for Alluvium Zero. One of the main things Kieran talked about is for marketing, and if they're reaching out to a target audience of PvP and auto battlers, they want them to come to a page that, you know, really shows what that's about. And if they're maybe targeting people from like the Pokemon world or the monster collector world, they're going to want to direct them to the overworld page. And then if there is a mobile player, they'll direct them to Alluvium Zero. So I think that makes a lot of sense. And it just looks a lot better like they showed some alluvial pages where you can just bring up the alluvial and see that full nft art and then all of its stats and you can learn about that alluvial it's going to be really cool it's going to be one of those yeah. websites where you can just go to and just spend hours on just looking around yeah i think specifically it's going to be easier to trick people into trying the game without realizing it's an nft game by yeah. doing stuff like that so that'll be interesting to see I think it was basically the no i mean other than that they obviously talked about the the roadmap and the open beta and pvp but we kind of touched on that already 